Hi there. Today I want to talk about how you can uh, create uh, custom shortcut keys while you record your screen using um, uh, Mac QuickTime Player. So um, you could you could actually um, record the screen and uh, pause it uh, by using. See now I'm recording the screen but if you want to pause it uh, there is one way that you could do that by actually uh, clicking the quick time and then uh, pressing the escape key so uh, this uh, window will be in focus and then you have to press the uh, alt key so you can see the uh, pause button here while holding down the alt key um, you could then you could then press this uh, pause button here then the recording will be paused after that you could uh, whenever you want to resume you could press it again and then the recording will begin but the problem is uh, this window uh, will be there in the recordings while you do that that pausing and uh, resuming but if you had a shortcut key you could just press those keys and uh, you could pause the screen and um, then after that you could press another um, shortcut key to resume the recording so that this window won't be in the way on your recordings so let's see how we can do that um, there is no uh, direct way to do that but uh, you could use some Apple scripts and then uh, um, assign some custom short keys and then we can achieve what we want to do okay let's go ahead and do that now it's not uh, complicated it just takes some uh, um, knowledge on how we can do that so first of all I've already done it so I'm just going to go over it and then you could just follow it okay so um, let me just go ahead and uh, first you want to go to automator type in automator in the search automator I'm using a, a 2010 uh, mid Mac mini which is quite old um, but I think you, you still have to do this for the new Max. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming like that. But if you are using an older Mac, this is the way to do it. But you can also try, uh, if the shortcut key is not working, you could also try this in your, your newer Max. Okay, so now I have brought up this automator. I already have this scripts ready here. So uh, when you bring up the automator, um, first let's say I'm gonna close this file here file close uh, don't say okay and then I'm going to file new okay and then this is the, this is the screen that you'll be getting uh, when you start in go ahead and click service and then uh, um, I'm going to choose an open existing document from here. And my recordings are here actually. Uh, the two scripts, two Apple scripts, I'm, uh, it's over here. So I'm just going to load it so that you can see the code. So this is the code, just this uh, little line of code uh, and then you, have, you can pause it here and if you change this pause to resume in, in another script, you can uh, resume the uh, recording as well. So uh, the first screen what you will be getting instead of this, let's say uh, you're going to go to um, new and then service and then choose first make sure uh, a service receives selected instead of text it should be no input 
and it should be here any application and then over here go ahead and type uh, run and then click and done this uh, uh, run uh, there are many various types of scripts that you could do but we are going to do uh, apple script so click and drag this apple script script over here so you get this default code here just remove all that and then uh, change actually just only need to change this line here but we, do, we don't have input parameters so we don't need this either so we'll replace this script so this is how you get to this point so once you are here I'm gonna close this now and uh, open the script that I already written mm, close don't say okay so uh, so this is the pause script uh, uh, so this is the line of code I will copy this in this in the description area so you could just uh, copy and paste it from there now so this is a script uh, this will invoke the quick time application and then pause it uh, pause it when you press the shortcut key so you keep this uh, ready and then you have to save this file you go ahead and press file and then save and then uh, you you can give a file name just give a name that you will remember so go make it something like say pause quick time recording or whatever um, so that's done that's that's saved and then you do the same thing again to you need another another file another apple script file for resuming uh, and assigning that shortcut key to so the same way you could actually go ahead and uh, file a uh, new and then service choose and then make sure it is uh, no import and any application and then uh, make sure it is run here and then click and drag okay and then ch replace this script with the R code so I'm gonna close this here close so file close this to so this, this is a pause one the command here is pause so file um, close and then uh, I'm gonna file open resume this is the script for resume uh, everything is same except uh, the word here is changed to resume so uh, these are the two Apple scripts that we have say that you and change it uh, give it another name so let's say resume quick time recording that's the name of this script here and then file and save so that's done after these two scripts are created you could go ahead and uh, close the uh, automator with automator so and then bring up your system preferences um, and then let's see um, go to keyboard and then go to shortcuts and then go to services here select the two scripts that we have uh, and assign shortcut keys for those so all the way down all the way down mm, this is the two scripts that we created pause and resume so if you want to resume if you want to uh, uh, let's say assign a pause shortcut key select the apple script for the pausing uh, go ahead and click that and here uh, I already assigned this key so normally what you do is at this point you will be seeing here add shortcut key so press that uh, uh, that says add shortcut key and then you can press the uh, keyboard for those shortcut keys that you want so I have used command and control and p for pause so let's say uh, let's say i just press the left arrow now i'm going to change it i'm going to press command uh, control command and uh, uh, p so now uh, my script is assigned this particular uh, key combination uh, that is control command and p so similarly uh, take the other script 
and then go ahead and instead of this you'll be seeing for the first time add shortcut key so click that and then uh, enter the another shortcut key combination which is again uh, control command and I'm assuming R for assigning R for um, resuming the recording so these are the two things that I've created and that's all and then uh, your two new shortcut keys are ready so you could close system preferences so now I'm already using this right now to record this screen so um, let's say if I want to pause so what I would do is just go ahead and press uh, uh, the combination uh, control command and P uh, the recording will be paused and then if you want to resume it you just go ahead again and press control command and R so that way you could just use the keyboard shortcuts and uh, pause and resume as you like and uh, these uh, recording and pausing window won't be in the way and it won't be there in your screen recordings as well so I think this would be useful for somebody over there. Thank you. And uh, one more thing, uh, you could uh, use the shortcut key for uh, stopping the recording, which is the default. You don't have to assign anything. So, which is uh, um, Control Command and Escape. When you press that, the recording will be stopped. So, I'm going to press it now to stop this recording. Thank you.